maybe we're inside a computer and there's, uh, there's, uh, there's these guys who obey the laws of general relativity and quantum mechanics and they've programmed <laughs> us. <here. laughs> but, uh, you know, but, but but that that wouldn't that would be a highly speculative theory, <laughs> and a co- and a kind of useless one, right? right. <laughs> so I mean, I guess kind of the obvious question from that is, do you ever feel that way with us? That no, are, are, no, no. I thought. I mean, I know. I mean, I know. You know that that's been a a popular. Science idea or trope. joke yeah. or something. I mean well some people pretend to believe in it I don't know if they I mean it's so uh, but and I, I you know it's 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 interesting enough to be taken seriously but I mm. think if you take it seriously it that kind of doesn't doesn't um, doesn't really hold up very well because because uh, I mean the two well first of all there's the zero order question okay if if we are uh, if the world as we see it, as we experience it, uh, I'm of course going to trust that I experience things roughly in the same way as you do. And <laughs> they, but uh, the uh, um, that 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 is all an illusion that we're really inside a computer and just seeing electronic input from something. It beg or it begs the whole question of what's the computer made out of, and mm-hmm. you know what, uh, and. Uh, and then there's internal evidence that I mean it, to implement the way the world works according to our understanding of basic physics, you you use continua, uh, you use uh, a lot of hidden complexity. A proton is actually a very complex object, and yet you choose to build human beings out of that. That's very poor programming practice <laughs> to make to to uh, to build in all this complexity that you don't use at all, and and also there are many opportunities. You know, there's if you're doing a computer program, there's no reason to make the laws local. That you know, there's no reason to uh, forbid time travel, and so you know there are many things you could you could be much more creative than than than, <laughs> than the very constraining laws of physics we have. So I, I just don't think it's at all plausible. I mean, I do like the image of a of a computer programmer getting writing down all of these laws, and then someone saying, "Oh, I accidentally set theta to zero. And now, they're, now they're looking for an axion. What have I done?" Um, but uh, I, I I've thought about this question before too, and I've always kind of thought like, does it really matter? I mean, does it matter if the equations were written by God or by Steve, the computer programmer at at his house, and just kind of made us? Because it's still, I mean, it wouldn't really make a difference to me. Well, if you believe in the computer metaphor, it suggests kind. Of, it suggests questions that, that that then you can address experimentally. Uh, computers we know. Uh, well, <laughs> the problem is that that the most obvious experiments show you the idea is wrong. <laughs> the uh, the. Uh, uh, you would not expect the laws, you know, in, in such a realization, you would, not, you would not expect the laws to be based on continua. You would not expect them to uh, to have uh, a lot of hidden complexity. But the, okay, there are other things you could look for. You could look for. Uh, I mean, well, you would not. I, I could go on about things you would not expect, but but the uh, uh, that that we do see. But but you could also look for things that. Uh, are characteristic of computers like uh, maybe there's there's a transistor that blew <laughs> and so you get uh, you get errors <laughs> where okay where are the errors I don't know I feel like I've been in some errors sometimes <laughs> <laughs> you know do you, do you see a pixel somewhere that's 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 not functioning that's, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah so yeah okay that, I mean that, that's true but I mean uh, to play devil's advocate, you could always say like, "Oh, these are what all these ghost sightings are." That's what. That's uh, what. That's what all these ghost sightings are. UFOs. <laughs> uh, they're, all, they're all just just glitches in the matrix. Okay. But, yeah. You know, sure. Um, 